Now let's quickly shift our attention to PVST. It stands for per VLAN spanning tree. All new Cisco switches run PVST out of the box. It's a Cisco proprietary protocol. That is something you have to keep in mind. Only Cisco switches run PVST by default. And they utilize ISL trunking. PVST creates a spanning tree instance for each VLAN. So here, the idea is that it's per VLAN spanning tree. So instead of having a single spanning tree for all the VLANs, now we have a VLAN specific spanning tree. And what that does for us, and before I get into the functionality of it, let's kind of discuss first the layer two frame header architecture of PVST. So from a layer two standpoint, what we have here is a couple of things. So if you recall, the spanning tree, the regular spanning tree, which is called CST or common spanning tree, this whole field, if you guys recall, was called a bridge priority. There was no VLAN idea there, right? This whole field, which is two bytes or 16 bits, was bridge priority, and then to the right was Mac. But here, we have a bit of a different story. With PVST, we still have the bridge priority field, but we also insert in the middle a VLAN field. It's a 12 bits field, and altogether the bridge priority still happens to be from 0 through 65, 535. We typically use the default value on all the switches, 32,768. And then the MAC address, which I mentioned previously, is derived from the backplane on fixed switches and from a supervisor module on the modular switches. Finally, PVST plus is the same thing as PVST, but it's supported over 802.1Q trunking. Since 802.1Q trunking is the default standard in the industry these days, most likely on Cisco switches, you're gonna see PVST plus being ran by default. So that is something you have to keep in mind. How does PVST work? So let's quickly talk about that. Here's an example. This switch right here, if this ends up becoming a root bridge for all traffic, what's gonna end up happening is whether the traffic belongs to VLAN 38 or it belongs to VLAN 77, everything, all traffic is gonna be funneled through switch A. But what we can do is to better utilize the switch at the bottom because everything is going through switch A, switch B for the most part is gonna be sitting idle, right? And that's not good because we spent money and, and networking. We also wanna utilize our resources efficiently. So what we do is we say, you know, instead of using switch A as primary, as root bridge for all the VLANs, how about if we went ahead and made switch A primary for VLAN 38 and we made switch B primary for VLAN 77. This way, if host A, which happens to be on VLAN 38, wants to talk to host C on VLAN 38, the traffic will flow this direction. However, if the hosts at the bottom of the screen host B wants to talk to host D, the traffic can flow this direction because we now have two different root bridges. So as you can see here, this allows us to create a very efficient layer to network. That's why PVSD was designed by Cisco to create efficiency in our layer two LAN. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.